Hi guys, uh, in this video I will show you how you can create such a breathtaking web experience by adding sound effects and music to your Webflow website. Howler.js uh, is an audio library that we will be using for this video. Basic understanding of jQuery and JavaScript will be always beneficial but uh, we have tried to provide you the easiest and the most effective plug and play uh, Howler.js workflow uh, so that you can apply sound and uh, sound and music to, a, to your website just after watching this video. So let's hop onto the computer and see how it's done. Few things we have to consider before we get even started. Uh, first one is that we cannot play sound or music without the user's concern. So we have to make sure we have to take the permission of the user before playing any sound or music into our websites. Uh, I believe you might have experienced this uh, somewhere and uh, in any websites where audio is being used. So we have to to tackle this uh, problem. We have used one simple um, model which uh, asks the users for the permission to play the audio. Second thing is that we have used uh, we have used attributes for this solution. The Howler.js library has a wide range of possibilities and a wide range of uses. You can always go and visit the actual Howler.js website, uh, which has uh, which actually has a lot of demos and uh, features listed. As you can see here, you can make music players, live radios, audio sp sprites, special audio, whatnot. But uh, this uh, solution is a basic workflow, which will uh, basic workflow which covers uh, adding and playing background music, uh, sound effects on hover and click. So third thing, uh, make sure that uh, the audio files that we are going to use has to be hosted on the web somewhere, which uh, gives you, which provides a public URL for use. I've used Git for this. Um, you just have to go into the GitHub and create a repository for this and uh, from here. And uh, you can actually go and add audio files over there. And you can get the audio file link by using JS Deliver. Uh, the file link might look like this. Fourth thing, uh, we have to make sure to add one play and uh, sorry mute and unmute button uh, for the users because uh, sometimes the users uh, users might get annoyed by the background music so you have to make sure to add one play uh, one mute and unmute button even if you get the permission to play it yeah, that is the things that we need to consider and uh, let's uh, start now first thing um, i have duplicated the same project to give you a walkthrough like always um, first i will give you the structural Walkthrough how it's made. This is a very basic build. Um, a nav bar. Uh, this is the main. And uh, basically, it has a background which is fixed. And uh, over after that, we have a section wrap which uh, wraps up all the sections. Uh, this is the mute and unmute button, which is also fixed, and the scroll uh, button, which is also fixed. And uh, this section has a com container and yeah, that is it, some Webflow animations. First thing, we have to install the Howler.js. For this, we will use the CDN of the Howler.js uh, from the JS Deliver. I'll show you. Uh, this is the JS Deliver um, website. You just have to scroll to the search button, search Howler and this one. This is a minified JS uh, link, uh, which you can directly use it on your web, uh, Webflow project. So we will go ahead and uh, copy this, go to the page settings of the uh, Webflow project, paste it. Secondly, we will uh, continue uh, continuously cross-reference the clonable page as well uh, for better uh, speed. We'll go ahead and copy the rest of the code and paste it to the body 
So this is the code for the jQuery. And this is a CDN link for jQuery because we will be using jQuery for this uh, video. We will just go ahead and copy the code, paste it to the settings and yeah, there you go. So this code is a pretty descriptive code. Uh, we I have added some comments uh, for better understanding. Uh, click save. And now what you have to do uh, to initiate the Howler.js audio library, uh, we in the code, as you can see here, start playing the sound on click. Uh, start is the ID for the button which initiate the code. So we'll have to go to the model and here so let's, let's quickly go ahead and make it visible for this is the button we have to add this id to this button start and let's say we want to uh, add the hover and the click sound effect to this button also uh, we just have to go ahead and into the custom attributes panel click data slash dash hover sorry click because uh, we will play the hover and click sound effects after initiating this click and uh, let's quickly go ahead and go ahead and uh, close this set to none and let's say you want to add the hover and click effect to this button click to this button for the settings the custom attributes data let's hover okay second one is data so, uh, click let's quickly go ahead and copy this one and uh, let's say you want to uh, add the sound effects uh, to the, this button same for all yeah just add this at uh, just just add these attributes and you are good to go So as you can see in the code, um, I'm using this audio files uh, for the background, for the background audio, and uh, for the click sound, I've used this audio, and for hover sound, I've used this audio. All the audio files uh, I have uh, get it from um, the epidemic sound, and you can use obviously use any sound, but make sure to. Uh, make sure that uh, they are all copyright free yeah just save this publish there you go so hope you have found some value in this video uh, like i have said before howlerjs has a wide range of possibilities and uh, use cases so do your own research and if you like to see more videos like this or in any other topic regarding animation and uh, webflow let us know in the comments below and uh, i would like to mention one more thing that this build is heavily inspired from a website uh, called cosmos.so uh, manifesto page that is also a very cool site you can check it out and uh, clonable of this build can be also found in the video description so give it a check and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching see you in the next one